so <laughs> the Braves won the World Series. Yay. <laughs> Uh, I get hit, like literally hit on my way home tonight. So uh, there's that. <laughs> Let's go. This is Drew with Trust the Process. Um, <laughs> this, this is crazy because I'm literally uploading a video right now. It'll be uploaded before this video is uploaded. And it's about my trip to Atlanta and how things didn't go the way that I wanted them to go. But it was fine because I had a good time and I'm learning to accept that not everything's going to go as planned, right? Things are going to happen and we've got to accept those things, you know? And so the universe is like, oh, okay, like, well, let's see if, uh, if you're going to practice what you preach here, kid. And wham, <laughs> I get hit tonight. Now, um, I didn't get hurt and, and thank God, I mean, that's the most important thing, right? I didn't get hurt. The fool that hit me uh, shouldn't have been driving, all right? But um, I'll leave it at that. I'm not even going to get into that whole discussion. Uh, but it is what it is. They hit me. It was their fault. They know it was their fault. And, and that'll be taken care of. But, um, but it, you know, it was just one of those situations where it's like, really? <laughs> like, are you serious right now? Um so, I, uh, yeah, I, I don't even know. I don't even really know what else to say. I'm excited. The Braves won the World Series. Super cool. Um, I had someone ask me, you know, like, oh, how long have you been a Braves fan? Um, because anyone that knows me, like, since I've been in Charlotte, they know, like, I'm rocking all Tampa gear, right? Rays, Bucks, Lightning, all day long. That's my heart, okay? Uh, but my first love was the Atlanta Braves you know 91 I'm in Atlanta visiting they go from worst to first one of the most magical seasons of all time I mean that year was just absolutely incredible uh, it was so reminiscent when the Rays did it in 08 when they went from worst to first they uh you know it was it was really it was crazy watching that because that's what it felt like was watching the Braves all over again you know, Evan Longoria, it was a magical team, and obviously I wish they could have finished it off, but but I loved watching the Braves in the 90s, and uh, it was really, uh, it was a magical time to be a Braves fan, and when they won it in 95, it was, uh, it was like, basically they were getting that monkey off their back, like, they, they were expected to win, I mean, you've got the best pitching staff in baseball, you know, they brought in Fred McGriff that year from the Padres. Um, it, it was a team that was expected to win. Uh, this year, I don't think anyone expected the 2021 Braves to win the World Series. So it's just, uh, I don't know, it's, it's pretty special. And I really didn't think that it would mean that much to me, you know, when I kind of gave my heart over to the Rays. Um, I didn't know that I would still have this kind of feeling towards the Braves uh, on a run like this, but um, but it, it's been pretty cool. And obviously, um, you know, I'm I'm repping hard for for the Braves right now. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's I don't know. It's <laughs> it's a it's what bittersweet. That's how you call it, right? Just a bittersweet night. I don't think you use it in this type of situation, right? Like. Yay, Braves went. <laughs> there goes my car. Um, <laughs> so it's, man, it's whatever, man. Um, maybe it's, you know, God saying it's time for you to get your new car. I don't know. I went past the Lexus dealership today and there was nothing on the lot. I know I'm dreaming a little big, uh, but, but, right? Dream big or go home. Um, but, but even if I'm not going that route, like everywhere, like these dealerships are like depleted, man. And that's why people are overpaying. Like it's crazy. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I might ride around with a bent fender for a while. I uh, I was able to, fortunately I got home and took a pry bar and just kind of, you know, nudged it out. Um, <laughs> but... It's like there's some nights where it's like <laughs> the the wave of emotions, right? It's like 
Woo! Oh, man. And you know, the first thought that I had tonight, no lie, the first thought after that accident that I had was, wow, because of this 75-day challenge, I wasn't drinking at all right so there's like nothing in my mind that would have been like oh like because i'm not a big drinker anyway right so it's not like i would have been like blasted or anything uh and, i mean to be real like if i had been drinking i probably would have stopped at the other place that i was going to go to tonight and i would have had a drink there but because i'm not drinking i was like nah, i don't really want to stay there i'm not going so i ended up leaving and going home but regardless that was the first thought that i had was oh well uh at least I don't have to worry about that. The other person, not so much. Um, oddly enough, it's weird the way that I think, right? The way that my mind works. I felt bad for that person. Like, I really did. Um, because, I don't know. I don't know why, honestly. I mean, they screwed up, obviously. Um, but... But in that moment, I was, I don't know, I kind of felt bad. I, 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 would, I would rather be in my position, you know, than to be in their position. Uh, just to be real, you know what I mean? Um, I know that might sound weird, but uh, but that was just kind of how I felt. Like, you know, it's it's one of those things where I've, I've had things happen in my life that if you would have asked me before it happened or after it happened, like, how would you react? And if this was to happen to you, you know what I mean? Like you, you see the text messages and you find out that she's doing this behind your back. How do you react? You know, you ask beforehand, you know, and it's like, oh, I'm gonna choke him, you know. But you end up finding yourself being more calm than you've ever been in your entire life and thinking to yourself, you know what, I wasn't crazy, you know? And in this type of situation, you know, I might have said to myself, man, if this were to happen and I get hit, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna go off on somebody like, you fool, I can't believe you did this. But instead, I'm just standing there looking at this person like, honestly, I feel sorry for you. Because I can see past your eyes that you are in such an unhappy place. And I'm sorry for you, you know? Because because I'm I'm doing okay, you know? And thank God I ain't get hurt, you know what I mean? Um I'll it looks like still be able to drive my car. I'm tomorrow when the sun is up, I will reassess the situation. Hopefully I'll be cool cuz I got to work tomorrow night. Um but uh but yeah. So it is what it is. It be like that sometimes. Um, oh well that's about all I got really um, I, I'd love to really give some kind of inspirational message here uh, oddly enough I've got to say I doubt that anyone that is following me for this reason is going to be to this point in the video but if you happen to be one of the many people who have started following me because I posted up a few funny Joe Biden meme style videos. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry to inform you, but that's not, that's not really what this channel is. This channel is you're going to need some Tylenol or some ibuprofen because I'm going to give you a headache if you listen to me babble for too long. But hey, that's what I do here, right? This is my therapy session. I could have probably named this channel therapy session, um, but... But instead, I just went with trust the process because that's what I'm doing here, right? So I'm I'm trusting the process. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> it's funny, you know. I, I gotta mention this real quick. Uh, so I, I mentioned recently my 2019 journal and my 2020 journal, how I wrote down these things that I wanted to happen, you know, and. Um, <laughs> And one of the things that I'm writing down in my journal right now to finish this year off is like, 
provide me with an opportunity to get a new car. <laughs> it's like, it's like, man, I tell you, I'm telling you, I have, I have been blown away by the fact that like I need to be a little more specific. <laughs> like, yo, I want a new car, but not because I get ran over. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just kind of want like, you know, I, I don't know, man. It's just, ah. Oh. This time, and I'll probably make a video on this uh, separately because this video is obviously, this is all whacked out and I'm out of it right now. Um, and the sad part, maybe it's sad or not sad, is that I'm not inebriated. You know, like, I, I think maybe it would be more justifiable if I was like, you know, I had a few drinks tonight and then you go, oh, well, you know, that, that explains what the deal is with this guy. But no, this is just me, like, <laughs> embracing my ridiculousness. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I guess, uh, maybe I need to be a little more specific in my journal. Um, but I've, I've focused in this year, last year, uh, and the year before, uh, when I did my Tesla experiment, I wrote like, uh, I don't even know how many different things, but I was like all over the place. You know what I mean? Like I had all these things that I wanted to, to have happen. And this year, what I've done is I've condensed everything um, down to three things, you know what I'm saying? And um, and one of those three things uh, has to do with getting a new car. Um, so <laughs> it's just, it's funny. Um, but, but yeah, like literally. And nothing about the three things is anything that, like in the past it might've been something that like, ah, I don't wanna say that on the channel. Um, these three things like I don't, I don't really care man I'll say it out loud I'll tell the world um, and maybe at some point I'll make a video about that and uh, and I'll share you know what those things are at some point or uh, or maybe once you know the 75 day challenge is over I'll do that uh, heading into the new year I'm not really sure um, that's it that's all I got this video went way longer than it should have but uh, like I said It'd be like that. I don't even know if I'm going to edit or do anything with this video. I might just straight up upload it because it's ridiculous anyways. Um, but, or anyway. Um, but uh, regardless, um, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm fortunate. I'm okay. Um, but if you see me rocking my 04 Prius with a dented fender, like, don't hate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Until next time, I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep moving forward. I will always trust the process and be looking for a new car. Peace!